Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at a feature called the image library and it will be an overview of it. And this will also be within TrueCut RD works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. So that, like, uh, like I mentioned, we're going to be looking at the image library. This is a great place if you want to store custom images or shapes. Let's say stuff you use often and you just want to easily be able to import it back in from your library. Um, you can also, a nice part about this is, which we'll cover, is you can make a whole um, document full of different shapes and so forth and save it into the library and then um, recall that at any time when you're busy working on a design. But now, in order to open or locate the image library, what you want to do is you want to go to your main menu on top. And then you want to go to the first item, which is file. We'll navigate down until we find this image library. Now, if we open this, you guys will see we've got a few different settings here on the library. So first of all, we've got the size section here. This is all your libraries that's um, available. Then on the right here, we've got your actual items within that library. So um, the images and shapes. And then um, also the previews, obviously. And on the right there, you can see the image count or image number. So there's the amount of images or items that's within your library. Then under that, we've got some settings to for the actual um, library and the contents within it that we can edit here. We also have options for opening and saving and importing. We'll be going through this. It's uh, it's not as simple as it uh, would seem um, to use this, but we will cover it. And then we lastly have some export options. And uh, yeah, so that is the overview of the library. Like I said, it's a handy tool if you want to grab um, actual graphics and just put it straight into your image. Now, there used to be an option here for export, but it was a bit buggy, so I see they've removed it. So now the only option left is export all. So I will show you also um, um, how we can go about if you don't want to import everything to your graphics. Um, but yeah, we'll cover that in uh, another video. Otherwise, in the meanwhile, if we head to the website softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right just simply type in what you're looking for and hit the magnifying glass button and it will try to find it for you if your search results still comes dry you can always go here request a training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that video for you otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers